Should I look at the camera? Or do I look at the screen? Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Jessie, and I just made a sweater. And this is the process of me making my checkered sweater for the fall. You might be asking yourself, who is this girl? And why is she making a checkerboard sweater that looks like the game of checkers? Well, I'll tell you. I, for one, love the game of checkers and I'm feeling very nostalgic for it at this time. So I thought, why not make a sweater? Well, let's just get right into it. So this is my plan. I wanna make 82 double crochets across the back and front and 62 double crochets across for the sleeves. And I want every row to be five rows long to make the perfect square. And the yarn I used is Red Heart Black and Red Heart Cherry Red. Okay, I have crocheted the first row. It is eight of these squares long, four black, four red, alternating. And I have done the stitch where you just carry the other color underneath, and then you switch over to the next color. And I've been using a I9 or 5.25 milliliter hook and my gauge is quite tight so I really worried this won't fit but I have hope. finished one whole panel already so this is going to be either the back piece or the front piece whichever comes first and I've already finished one and I still need to do the sleeves and the ribbing and I'm still not sure what I should do about the sleeves or the ribbing so I'm gonna have to think about that while I make this. I also forgot to mention that the two extra stitches on every panel is to allow for seam allowance for when we sew the piece together. So I know what you're thinking. Wow, a red and black sweater that's checkered, so original. Well, I just really love the game of checkers and I just really wanted this sweater for some reason. So that's why I ended up making it and I had a lot of fun doing so. Okay, so I just ran out of this black string on the skein I was working on. So I was using the skein from the other one and I thought I had enough, but I have... I was on the sixth row and I still need to do two more after this row. So I definitely don't have enough and I don't know why I thought that would be enough. So I'll have to get a new skein started. But this is all the red I have left. And I've used the exact same amount of black and red, and there's still so much. I don't get it. A few moments later. It happened again. I ran out so close to the end. Why? Why? some poor decision making. I can't find any scissors so I'm literally cutting this with a knife. I'm trying to decide if I should add a cuff or crochet another row of squares. And thus began the long process of me trying to decide if I should make it five rows or six rows of squares. The indecision was crushing. <laughs> I ended up not deciding and using the other end of the yarn to work on the other sleeve while I was thinking about it. And it didn't help my decision making at all. I think I should stop for the night. Okay, I chickened out and I made it six by six squares instead of five by five because 
I was afraid it was going to be too short a sleeve, so... Yeah. I also had to buy more yarn needles because I always lose them. And thus begin the sewing together while I still did not decide about the sleeves. Also, I ended up not doing this kind of stitch. I ended up just sewing it normal, and that's where that extra stitch on the end came in handy. The stitch I ended up doing was the classic in and out, and I went back the other direction and did in and out again to make sure the sides were super secure because I hate when sweaters come undone when you wash them and wear them, so they were stuck together. I finally came to a decision about the sleeves. I didn't like the sixth row. I ended up undoing it. This was crushing. This was hours of work <laughs> down the drain. <laughs> I'm so sad. I just frogged it. <laughs> I think I'll think of something to make with these. Maybe checkerboard pieces? I'm showing the ribbing right now, and I kept losing track of where I was. And I tried skipping every three, but that was too tight of a cuff. So now I skip a stitch, I slip stitch, I skip another stitch, and I stitch in here and I make the next row. When I come back, I skip a stitch, slip stitch in that one, skip one, slip stitch in that one, skip one, and slip stitch in that one. So I'm doing every two and three, two and three. And I had to mark it so I didn't lose track. So that is my solution. <laughs> to mark it with stitch markers. And we'll see how that goes. And now for some shoddy explaining. Okay, so this is how to do the ribbing on the cuff for the sleeves. So this is just a swatch. We're gonna pull this through. Because it's gonna be in a circle, right? So it's gonna be anywhere in a circle. So we got that, and then we're going to chain 11. One. And then we're going to single crochet into the chain next to it in just the back loop. So single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet all the way down. You should have 11 single crochets and the end one count is the 11th stitch. So then we're going to slip stitch. We're going to skip a stitch, slip stitch in this one. Skip a stitch, slip stitch in this one. We're going to skip a stitch and slip stitch in this next marker like that. So it should look something like that. And then we're going to essentially crochet off of this. And we're only going in the back loop. So we're going to single crochet back up. And we're going to chain one. Turn our work over, and we're going to crochet into the back loop back down. Okay, and then this one's a little different. We're going to skip a stitch, slip stitch, skip a stitch, and slip stitch in the next marker. So only slip stitching twice that time instead of three times and then again we go through the back loop and single crochet
chain one, turn your work over and see how it's cinching. That's how it makes the cuff and it looks like ribbing. And then we just repeat that. A brief recap. Work in here, work up, come back down, skip, slip stitch, skip, slip stitch, skip, slip stitch, work off that one, come back down, skip, slip stitch, skip, slip stitch, work off that one, come back down, skip, slip stitch, skip, slip stitch, skip, slip stitch, work off that one, come back down, and so forth until you sew them up together at the end. And now it's time for the neck. So I actually wasn't sure what to do about the neck. I ended up crocheting to the middle of the third square on each side and making crochet nonsense of a triangle next to it so I had room for my head. I made it the same length as the squares just to make everything even. Yeah, the collar didn't fit the first time I made it. It took hours of work that I had to undo and start over, which made me so sad. <laughs> I ended up figuring out how to do it and all as well. Here's a brief recap. I start here, crochet, six, come back down, slip stitch, work off of that one, come back down, skip, slip stitch, crochet, work off of that one, come back down, slip stitch. This concludes a brief recap. Yeah, and now this is me in disbelief that the color came out so well after redoing it like four times. I ended up just folding over what I had worked on and it was super comfortable to fit over my head because of that and I didn't tack it down, I just folded it over and it looks so good and I was so impressed with myself. But anyway, let's move on to the ribbing on the bottom. Okay, I'm on the last bit. I am starting the trim on the bottom and these are all the stitch markers I own and I'm just gonna have to move them around because I can't remember how many spaces are supposed to be between because there's some that are right next to each other and there's some there's spaces and so yeah I'm gonna work on that now and now for a brief recap for the ribbing on the bottom you are just going to be working off of your first one and then you skip slip stitch skip slip stitch work off of that one skip slip stitch work off of that one skip slip stitch work off of that one skip slip stitch skip slip stitch work off of that one skip slip stitch work off of that one skip slip stitch work off of that one and just repeating i also forgot to mention that the bottom ribbing is nine stitches since that was the end of the ribbings i just had to finish what I was doing and just finish the ribbing on the bottom and that was gonna be it besides tucking in the end so you know you know I was zooming although I feel like I always slow down towards the last bit of projects I work on I get like 98% done and then I just like stop and just like don't finish or just like stall I don't know why I'm like this anyway See, this is me stalling with my animal crackers, my peanut butter, and my dog who wanted my food. And then it was on to work in the ends. And you know, you know I just worked in the ends that stick out the most. I didn't work any of the ends that people don't see. Who has time to do that? I mean, no one's gonna see it. It's gonna be on the inside. It's fine. But anyway, after we finish the ends, let's see the final result. Thanks for watching. Bye. And yes, this is a child's block toy. I haven't had a full night's sleep since June. I'm so tired.